Sydney sure knows how to make the most of the harbour, a workplace one day and centre stage for fun and games the next. But after an enforced COVID break last year, the harbour returns to play host to a big slice of the celebrations for Australia Day and the country's first people will feature prominently. It was if the tug Diamond Tina was an excitable dog turning circles at the prospect of Australia Day returning to the harbour under the badge of reflect, respect and celebrate. Four words, but there's a lot bundled into that. Yeah, there is, and we've worked very hard at trying to get the balance right for Australia Day. And that means a greater Indigenous influence starting at first light. Projections on the Opera House, the flags of first and new nations flying together on the bridge, as Woogle Aura, or one mob, is marked at Barangaroo. The morning in particular, we really want to respect and reflect on our First Nations culture. The Emerald Class Ferries of the Ferrython returning to reflect their names in their Australia Day dress, such as Pemelwoy, one of the first to resist colonial rule. One of our most recognised warriors, uh, one of our earliest warriors. And as the dying dusk draws down the curtain of night, the forecourt of the Opera House will resound to a young country with a deep history, living free. The only ticketed event is the Australia Day Live concert, so we can just manage numbers with the Opera House forecourt. The largest natural harbour in the world, again putting on her Australia Day party frock. So we are blessed to have this unique waterway that gives us a whole day and a platform to enjoy and celebrate. Mike Dalton, Nine News. For breaking news, turn to Peter Overton, nightly at six.